Alright guys, a few weeks ago I did a little short little overview of what I had plans of doing in this room. This is chain room number one. And when I showed the I-10 abruptly stopping there, I had a comment from one of my subscribers that said either I should extend it out to the end of the table or not put it in at all. So, what I did was look for a spot that I can come across the entire yard here and figure out a place that I could put this I-10 freeway. So what I did was I moved this guy that way all the way until it's almost kissing Sam Plumbing. Uh, I have to do what I have to do to make stuff work, correct? All right. So now I need to change the track plan here because this turn is going to have to come a little further back to make that turn. That's a sharp turn right there. Unfortunately, that's the best I could do. Anyhow, let me show you what I decided to do. So stay tuned and we will be right back. All right, guys, before I show you what I did, I want to thank uh, Kevin, GLE Trains, for making this suggestion. So, Kevin, thank you so much. And I think this is going to look a whole bunch better. Anyhow, I found a way to add the I-10 all the way across the yard. Now, in real life, this guy is way down at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the yard. This yard is about, I'm going to guess and don't hold me to it, I think this yard is between half a mile and a mile long. It's not a very big yard. Uh, anyhow, um, that's what I'm going to be doing. There's two pieces of hardboard that I cut down to make a five inch road right here. And then uh, John Tanzillo is also doing the stanchions for me. Um, I have room now to back him up just a little bit right there. There will be an off ramp right here. And then I'll be able to adjust this building and all the rest of the buildings as we go down the street. Anyhow, uh, there was another suggestion that someone uh, gave me another one of my subscribers and uh, I'll show you um, what that's all about and that is a follow-up to my short that I did uh, about a week ago so stay tuned and we will be back with that update all right guys here we are back out of my chain room and I have a suggestion from one of my subscribers uh, subscribers PTI train Rouge. Uh, his name is Philippe. Uh, he told me that I really shouldn't have this mountain right here. And I'm looking at it, and if I look at it from that side, it is quite big. So I am going to go ahead and take that down. I'm going to take this whole thing outside like I did before. And I'm going to see what I can do to take this down here. Also, we did a little bit of work out here. As you can see. So... We're uh, getting ready to do some plaster work now. Anyhow, with all that being said, stay tuned and we will be back with more on the scenery. Alright guys, we are out in train room number two. And this is the area that we're talking about. Now, I already took off the stuff that I built up here. And I'm going to go ahead and make this more of an angle up to the road. And also, I'm going to change this around and make this a little bit lower too uh, because I want to be able to see the trains from here and also I continued this and I had mentioned in one of my other videos that I needed to uh, move the fascia out so Dave Shankel and myself we did that and I went ahead and added the beginning of my uh, substructure for my scenery and it's going to continue around there and finally connect up into that over there and here in the center there'll be a mountain right here and we'll connect to that guy right there and uh we'll be all looking good anyhow i'm going to go ahead and continue with this guy and also do a little bit more trimming on there and remove all of that anyhow stay tuned and we will be back in a little bit All right, guys, as you can see, I did slant that up to the road a bit more, so it's more of an angle, uh, and uh, there'll be a bunch of trees there eventually. And I also finished all my basket weaving all around here. 
And so the next step's going to be open that bag of plaster cloth up and start doing some plaster work. And uh, we'll see how that's going to go. So stay tuned and we will be back in a few minutes. Alright guys and gals, uh, we're going to do some more work here and what I'm showing you right now is we have a depression that I want to get rid of and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that using the old style with some newspaper. And what we're going to do is we're going to wet that newspaper, we're going to crunch it up and we're going to stick it in that spot right there and we're going to do the same thing on the next piece of paper and make it a little bit smaller this time and we'll go ahead and put that over in the next spot. And uh, we'll see how that's going to happen. Now, we're, when that, we get done with that, we're going to go ahead and cover that up with some more of the, of the uh, uh, <laughs> plastic cloth. And I'll tell you why I like this plastic cloth. I think it's medical grade because it doesn't leave any holes after you uh, sand it, you know, uh, smooth it out with the brush like I do. But anyhow, yeah, let's see if this keeps on going here and we'll see how this all sounds and everything like that. So stay tuned and... Uh, We'll carry on with the video, but the voiceover will stop. This Vinny Vid production brought to you by Yankee Dabbler. For all your model railroad needs, check out Yankee Dabbler. Don't forget, 7% discount with BNSF 6951. And by Highways and Byways, awesome street graphics for your roads and streets on your model railroad layout. If you guys are looking for sophisticated model railroad electronics, Logic Rail Technology has what you need. For a 5% discount on certain items, use code BNSF6951. Alright guys, so this is what I've accomplished today. And I got all of my, well this is just a rag here, <laughs> but it looks pretty good for covering. Huh? Alright, so I got all of my plastering done all the way around. All the way down to there, and it's still wet, I can feel it. But uh, anyhow, the next step is going to be this guy in here. And once this guy is done, the scenery on this deck will be 90% complete. And what I mean by 90% complete is this area over here needs to get covered up in plastic cloth, also. Alright, so with all that being said, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. And as always, your questions, comments, input, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. BNSF 6951 and Cousin Vinny out.